Hello and welcome. Today we're checking out Minds of Nations. So this is a, a 4X multiplayer nation empire builder that uh, is being developed by Omnim, Cybersports, Soul Playing Games, uh, all kinds of folks, I guess, over here on Steam. It is free and uh, certainly worth checking out. It's an interesting idea and uh, I thought we should show it off here for, uh, for Free Games Month. So anyway, let's create a nation, the nation of Noctopia. Look at my nation. The national motto... Um, Cannibalism um, happens. Okay, and then my color. Uh, let's be um, let's be a nice dark green. There we go. And we can choose a crest if we want. Uh, that's nice. The little dolly there. Uh, <laughs> ooh, mountains, some swords, some horn. I like it. I like it. Perfect. Uh, we can change. We can, you know, um, the one thing about this game is there is sort of uh, there's an immense amount of choices here. So we're creating a nation. We're going to have um, uh, just a ridiculous amount of options in creating that nation. And we'll take over territory. We go to war. We go to peace. You trade. All that kind of stuff is in there as well with uh, other folks, real folks that are in the game. Um, one thing about this, it is a free-to-play game. Um, I am anti-microtransactions, anti-premium currency, especially for free games month. And that is in this game. However, however, uh, you can play the game. It's separated in servers. Each server is a different continent. And there are continents without microtransactions. Not allowed. So there is a free microtransaction free cur premium currency free way of playing the game. And so that's what we're going to do. And we're going to build our nation. And yeah, I thought so. Okay, so um, I guess it's you know, early access or whatever. And so there are no open spots at the moment to create a nation. But I already have one. Which is why I probably I'm at maybe the back of the line. Anyway, let's go to the one I've been playing around with for a little bit here. The Kingdom of Ontintius here on the continent of something. And so all these different colored blobs are different folks that have gone and created their empire. Let me show you mine real quick. Uh, ignore the uh, the cat people <laughs> to the south. Uh, here we go. So Nomu is the name of my capital. Uh, the continent is called the Machinan Machanli Continent. And Ontintius is the name of my country. Now, we've got a certain amount of population. We are feeding 104% of our population with our food supply. We have a certain amount of energy, which we use to do jobs and tasks. We have amount of food coming in, food supplies. You can see we've got plenty of food supplies coming in every so often. Every, every 10 minutes in real life is one year in the game. And so if we choose options to do, like I went and I colonized these other places, like old Nompi, um... Whatever this one in the south is, Ohi, and uh, um, whatever this one's up here is called, come on, and, and Hui. Uh, I, I colonized all those when I was playing with this game before, and, but we'll, we'll get there. Um, I sent out my explorers, they went and colonized, and um, I got some gold coming in here, of course, and you can see where it all comes from. I have ideas. Uh, the big part of this game, the big emphasis of this game, is is a sort of spiritual governance and, and like family ideas. Um, is, is the, sort of the currency in this game. And we'll see where we spend those things in a minute. Uh, I got some technology, some stories, which is sort of like active quests, and then there's the premium currency, which we can't use here. Um, so let's take a look at uh, the, the old nation here. So right now we built some extra villages. I built that when I was playing before. Uh, let's throw in some waterworks and get to work on some of that. We'll do a, a little bit extra waterworks. So this will be done in 120 minutes. Which, uh, so yeah, two hours, I guess, in real real time is what's going to be done. And we'll have that all set up. Um, if we want to raise an army, we can do that here as well. Uh, we'll take them out of, where's my population at? Uh, this one. It'll take them out of, so I got 169,000 people. And I have 13,000 available to be nation soldiers, colonists, or explorers. If I take them away into the army, then they will turn off of farming, of course. No food coming in from them. I want to feed them. Uh, we can make, a, make an army there and charge them out if we want um, I sent some folks over to here, and we colonized this place. I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, but there's lots of different options. We make wonders as well. Get in here, too. We want to make some wonders. Uh, I guess I can make this one right now. I guess I could. Um, rumors of three civilizations building this one right now. Um, other thing we can also do is we can we can actually look at other folks. We can see the Blue Empire over here. Uh, here they are. These guys. Um, same continent by Tony. Uh, Tony has 12 provinces and 1.1 million people in his in their place. Uh, they have they have we'll see we'll talk about souls in a minute and how far away they uh, their their reach is I guess we can declare war. They're, they're allied with Casca, which is up here in the north, and uh, no wars at the moment. Is Casca at war with anybody? 
Uh, where's, where's your where's your capital? This this one? There's Casca. Um, I'm the vassal because they sent me a message and I just said yes because I would just want to see what happened <laughs> with it. So that's my yeah yeah whatever. Uh, these guys are I guess piling everybody up. Um, anyway, let's go back to here and see what we can do with this place. So let's go into the energy here, and we got a few different choices here. This is how we we sort of create this this like uh, income basically from our uh, our souls, ascetic noble and common souls, and we can deal with that here in ideas. So let's go look at. I think I set this up already. Who leads? Uh, yeah, I did already. So we every single one of these options here. Let's pick one I haven't done yet. Like, what kind of clothing do we wear here? So right now, they wear whatever. No, there's no nothing. There's no edict on the clothing of my population. However, we can change that, and we can say, um, in warm areas, what do you wear? It's okay to be naked. If we do that, there's a little less research and a little more population. Uh, we can say a simple tunic is fine. Uh, the more complex, the better. Or we can create our own custom one, and we can say what effects it is. Um, let's say we want. Um, uh, it's gonna it's gonna create more gold if everyone just walks around. Um, um, uh, I was gonna say covered in blood. That might be a bit much. <laughs> um, 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 with um, rotten fish made dress. That's what we wear. We wear rot rotten fish on our clothing, as our clothing, and we get extra cash out of it. Does it work? Huh? Maybe not. <laughs> okay, we'll stick. Nakedness is fine. Now, if I were to do this, it costs me 2910 idea points. That's what's up here. So you can see we've got enough points for 4700 day-to-day -day ideas, which is what this is. Uh, I used all my uh, spiritual and governance ones earlier. Um those and and those are all coming from the energy we're getting this way and you can see what it's uh what the points are coming from depending on what we're doing here we can add in things to help us out we can also do it just population we can get some stories which is sort of like an active quest that happens from time to time uh i uh i think i've already got one going here so i'm gonna make it, uh, where's my active stories active stories uh, yeah come on active stories Kings, Cannon, Fodder, and Thought. What's this one? Uh, a wave of doldness and contentment seems to settle in people's minds. It's almost magical. People may have not died in the struggle for the New World Order, but the silence reeks of a different kind of death. Is it a dream of change without bloodshed? Too lofty and ideal? Um, get over it? <laughs> I guess we get over it. Okay. We can start doing it when, I guess new ones will pop up from time to time. Um... And we can get little quests and things to help us out. So we'll see. This one needs to go away. Um, we can refresh if we need to. Like, it is early access. I guess it's a little buggy from what I've seen. But nothing too, nothing too damaging. Um, these little guys over here. So this thing um, from the uh, cat people. Uh, this is a, a peasant revolt going on right now. I have already made a claim on this place. Um, here. So I'm claiming this as my territory, no cup. Uh, so if I wanted to go to war, I guess we could do that. We have a Cassus Belli to go into here. Um, I cannot go to war just yet because I just started the game, and so I can't be attacked. Or I don't think I can go to war either until 1307, which is probably going to be tomorrow sometime. Um, but there you go. I got 169,000 people in the nation, and... One man, one woman leads this place, which I did mark, uh, which was this one here. Who leads? One man, woman chosen after an exam. <laughs> I chose after an exam. Whoever is the best at archery is the leader of my place. Is is the is one of them, but I also have decision two. Uh, but I don't have the points to spend it. I guess I could do. So we have one exam. The other one comes in with um, um, top mining representative, a trader, chosen by duty. Chosen by a set of trials. Yeah. Yeah. I want that one. Can we tell me what, what the trials are, though? I want to see what the trials are, though. I guess we don't get to pick that one. Yeah, that works. That works, though. That's fine. That's fine. Hunger Games style. Uh, how many branches of power? We can choose all these things. Uh, this one's actually a uh, freebie. We'll take two branches of power. Sure. And um, what are they? What can a legitimate group slash person do in the first branch of power? They can spend money. 
What's branch two going to be? They're going to, um, they'll create the laws. There we go. Uh, how do we make sure political leaders do not become tyrants? Oh, a good question. We, um, a childless eligibility condition. Old age. The older you get, the less desires you have. Old age eligibility. So oh, you have to be old. Oh, no young ambitious. Yeah, yeah. Only, only geezers are allowed to run my country. What's the limit? You gotta be at least 70. I can just barely afford that, I think. What is this song? So the music I'm just playing, I have on my... <laughs> this is Christmas music. Um, I have a list of, of free YouTube stuff. Um, let's grab the... Can I do that one? I don't. I have 72 available. So you gotta be at least 50. Right, 50-year-olds, they aren't ambitious at all, right? <laughs> How do we avoid partisan politics? Uh, I don't have an option for that. I can't change it because we had to wait for more of that stuff to build up before we can do anything else there. So that's fine. We'll leave it as it is there. I like it. I like it. Um, I still have 4,000 for the daily affairs. I suppose we look at that. Let me look, show other parts of the game, though. So we've already expanded out here and grabbed these other territories here. And we can do the same thing for several of these as well. Um, we can go and we can put some services in. We can work on getting some waterworks or infrastructure, paved roads, that kind of stuff. We can build walls. Uh, I think we're going to go in and start out with some waterworks. Helps us get some food cranked in here and get uh, get the thing working. Maybe a bit of, uh, maybe some villages as well for some people. Um, we'll do that with all these, I guess. Give me some more waterworks. And what's culture going to do for me? Grand temples. Build instantly using gold. I don't want to do that, but it... Um, I, don't know. I guess it just gives me gold. I just want people. And same thing over here. And I guess also a good thing to be looking at would be how much food does it actually create. Like this guy makes a lot of food. Or is that minus? No, it's minus. No, no, you lose a lot of food. There's 42,000 people there. Uh, no one's revolting here just yet. Uh, so I guess you need some food. You're wasting food. Stockpiles were lost to decay. That's not what we want. Um... How about... That helps me with infant mortality and pro province tax revenue. This one's going to help me with gold. Food production. There we go. We need infrastructure. Helps with food wasted. Yeah. We want that one. Some paved roads. We got we have highways, apparently. But none of the, nothing else. So if we want to expand elsewhere, we can go over here. Now, we don't know anything about this place. Uh, any of these out here. I haven't explored any of these things. I don't think I've got any of these done. No. So, um, the old Nokup over here. Let's take a look at this one. So, we have three choices. We can explore it, colonize it, or astral probe it. Uh, astral probe brings more souls to our school, which will generate more ideas. I don't quite understand what that one was. I went through the tutorial, but I didn't get that part of it. Um, something going on over there. Uh, we can explore and see what's going on there, though. If we want to send a party in, we can choose how many people are going to go. So, say if we send, uh, 500 people go, then we're going to lose them, obviously. They're going to, we have to give them food. Uh, and also, it's going to take a longer to go. So it'll take us two years, two and a half years, for them to get there and back, which is 25 minutes. Um, but we could do it quick. If we, like, send in 3,500 people, we could do it in six months, which is um, 30 seconds? No, five minutes. Five minutes. I think I'm doing that wrong. Five minutes, we could have that one done. Let's do that. Get out there and explore that thing. 3,500 people. Let's see it. So they're leaving from there. They're going to head out and explore this place here. Uh, I want to pick this big guy here. Let's go ahead and colonize it. And our strategy. What are we doing with our... How are we colonizing this place? As I mentioned, there's like an immense amount of of things here. Uh, this is this is about the same size... Uh, larger than the Punjab province. No, just India. Back on Earth. Um, how do we do it? Do we, do we um, create small villages? Trade and marry with locals? In time, we'll be like one. Or do we do it a quicker way? We go in and we say, hey... We got guns. You don't. We 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 live here now. Um, our superior freedoms. Um, tribal chieftains really question mark. Uh, we could charge in with uh, no man's land. This legion region is not claimed by any other power. I suppose we would do this if there was some sort of like banditry or something happening or um, whatever. We can promise them privilege, which again, there's a chance of revolution of them rebelling against us, which we don't want. Um, our superior culture, sure. Um, let's just stick with, we don't have a lot of food, we could give much of food if we wanted to. Actually, that would go quicker if we did that. But I'm not gonna squar- I'm not gonna squar on my food. We could fabricate a shared ancestry. Signs from the gods. That's what it was. How much gold do I have? I got 280,000? Yeah. 
yeah, the gods told us this is where we live. Okay, and how many are going to go? We're going to send in... Um, 44 years. Yeah, after they get the first three down, it takes a long time to get the next one done. Um, so we're going to send in just 4,000 people. How many do I have available to send out? Uh, yeah, I got 12,000 more available. Okay, we'll send out 4,000 more. And away they go. Six and a, almost seven hours. There they go. We'll go explore that place. Um, who's this? Who are you? I'm not sure who that is, but he's out. Is that you, Prussia? I think that's Prussia. Prussia's everywhere. Um, there's a couple of folks on here that are pretty big. I mean, clearly there's something going on over here. Is this a... This is a peasant rebellion happening over here. And again, we could come in here... And we could say the United States of America is claiming this, apparently. Who's the U.S.? <laughs> Who's the U.S.? Um, I don't know where they are. Anyway, um, we could come in here and we can say, this belongs to me. As a matter of fact, we can make a claim. We can say the, um, which one is it? This one? Nope. Uh, why? Uh, why is it ours? Well, it's our historical roots. It costs us a little bit of money, you know, whatever. The heavens gave it to us, obviously. And we can claim that thing. Which we, is what I did back here at this peasant place. I was hoping it would sort of work our way. Um, I don't have a military. We could raise an army up, though. And I kind of missed this part of the tutorial. But let's go and grab um, like 500 infantry. And uh, uh, maybe, we don't have, maybe we don't have guns. 500 bows. I want um, archers. Infantry, I want you just to be bandits. That's a thousand. Do we need more? It can take us four minutes to get this thing up and running. We can add a hero in. We have a couple choices here. I forgot to show this off. We can put heroes in other parts too. Um, we have Shan Yu and Argot. So Shan Yu is kind of expensive. Well, not really. But he's a bit of a strategist. We get more damage. And this guy is a general. We get more range damage. Yeah, let's go with a, a ranger. Hop in there, buddy. Uh, and then we're going to add in... Let's add in a few more. How about like a thousand? A thousand archers, five hundred bandits. It'll be great. Create that army. Okay. Now, I want you. Not ready yet. It finished the training next year. So hopefully this is gonna get it done somewhat quickly and we can see it. it has food supplies for five years. Um and we'll figure out if we can move this thing, embark it on a boat, or I think I'm gonna send him down here as soon as we can. As soon as he's ready. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Um, there's all the, uh, the top going on over here. Looks like the U.S. and Russia are having a chat. Um, and there's some some notifications over this way, which you can see what happened here. Um, I explored. I claimed some provinces. I got a new story, which is that, that cannon fodder and thought, whatever. Um, we got a new province. These guys asked to uh, for me to be their vassal. I didn't think I was going to come back to this game, so I said, sure, I want to see what, what happened. Uh, and then we raised an army. And then hopefully this army will go out and, and and dominate some filthy peasants. That's the idea. So we're exploring over here. You can see that. And there's the wagon guy heading out this way. He should be done there, I think, pretty quick. I don't know how long it takes for him to get there. He's finishing colonizing. Can we do it now? I think he's already got it. He's already there working on it. So yeah, yeah. I'm going to wait for the orders. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we can see what these guys are doing here. There's a few uh, fighters. You're just, oh, you're out colonizing this thing, aren't you? Oh, okay, okay. Well, whatever. Um, let's see what we do here. Um, oh, right, right. Uh, leaders. So I can come in here with this one, I do believe. And, of course, there's help with all this stuff. Um, I don't remember how to do this, but we can go in. Let's go with common souls, right? That's what you are. Your noble soul. Noble souls. Add something there. Uh, oh, a thousand energy? Oh, yeah, I can't afford that. Alright, so we can't do that one yet. Uh, I can buy stories. Do I need stories yet? No. No buyable, no buyable stories yet. Uh, food supply is still... Uh, where is it at? Losing fertility. Seize so food for my expeditions. I'm not going to do that. Can we do anything with the food here, though? We can improve that in some way? Can we maybe uh, maybe go to some tech and see if we can figure that out? So here's tech. 
let's hire a, um, let's see, um, probably mm, math and economy, physics and engineering. How about, yeah, this guy, an agriculture guy. I want you, let's get someone in there. We get uh, Rila there is going to help us faster. Um, Shala is going to help us is it 9% faster. And you're two, you're one and a half percent faster. You're a hundred, a hundred things. I'll buy you. There you go. A little bit faster. We got Shala in there. Okay. That's slowly getting researched. And hopefully we get these things. And I guess we can change that though. To that one. But we'll leave it how, we'll leave it how it was. Let's see how that does for us. 104% population still is fine. Um, anyway, I still have the, the idea points I can spend. Let's go ahead and do it. While we're waiting for those things to happen. So, let's go into... That's working on its way. We've got 100 minutes left for that one. But let's go into... Where was I before? Um, over here. Into my domestic ideas. Since I have plenty to spend here. 4,000 to spend. Um, let's work on... Like, what do you do in your free time? I want free time or do I want... Let's deal with death. Keep it light. Um, ooh, enables wonder slot. Oh, oh my, my, my folks are moving out. Is that my army? Oh, it is. They're moving. Okay, excellent. 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 Okay. Um, so, where was I? Um, back over here. Sanitation. Currency. Here we go. Let's, let's worry about currency. Let's deal with that. Okay, so we got some points to spend. How is currency, how is, how is spare currency spent? So the, 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 the pennies and things. What do we do with it? Do we save it? Do we invest it? Do we give it to sorcerers for a good wife and status? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, of course we do. Okay, in what? Um, a good wife and status in what? Uh, in, um, well, you want, we want new ideas. I want, you want Find yourself a good, smart wife and uh, and, and, and views on merchants. No, merchants are great. Do we, do we want to go with that one? That's 1400 for our... Let's look at something better. Unlock this one for... I think it's 1000 each time we do this. Enables water slot for that one. Family, we already got that one done, but we can change more of this stuff. Does the institution of marriage exist? Yes, sacred meaning for 1000 or no. Um, between two people. Man and multiple women. Woman and multiple men. Uh, is it okay to remarry? Uh, is it okay to have children? When is it okay? Ooh. Okay, we're getting kind of deep here. Um, what else can we do? Oops. Let's go back. That Oh, sanitation. Let's go deal with um, washing habits in winter. What do you do? How often do you wash in the winter? So if we do this, weekly washes... Oh, we can't afford the gold one. One time gold of 12,000. Um, we could do this one monthly. A monthly bath. That seems reasonable. Toilet culture. Designated areas. Rivers. That doesn't seem safe. Uh, saved and packaged as component and fertilizer. Well, that's a good idea. We, we don't get as many people. And it hurts our... It's good for our biology. Yeah, do that one. Yeah, pack it up. Oh, we don't, have to, we don't have to stuff for it. Well, whatever. So we have a fight going on over here. Uh, I have 1,500. They have 3,500. I didn't look at that. Let's go with a a night attack. Let's hit them at night. Um, I, I can't do this, right? I'm not sure how that works. Um, some lullabies as well. Let's use that one. Oh, cannot use cyber points. Okay, okay, okay. So that's where you, if you would, you know, pay to win or whatever garbage. Um, but that's not allowed on this continent. Hey, you, um... Yeah, yeah, night attack. Do it. We're vying for position. Hit him at night. I'm not sure how to make, make the thing go away. So I guess it's just like going to be normal. Okay, um, let's fight. Battle begins. It begins. We'll appear here in 2D. Okay. This isn't going to be good. 
So we just charge in there. No, we don't have cavalry. Um, yep, we just uh, we just hang out here and we die. I'm okay. With, I'm okay with that. All right. Well, let's see how how it plays out, shall we? I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we'll um, we'll vie for our position. Let's see how long that takes. Some chatting going on. And what's going on over here? Battle has begun. Yep, that's where we are right now. Okay. Oh, explore the new province. Oh, right. Okay, so we can see what's going on over here in Nokup. 40,000 people there. There's a bit of gold. There's a little bit of food. Um, a little bit of revolt risk. Revolt risk. We can colonize this place. We're already here. Can I do that right now? Oh, no. We have to send a whole new group out. Um, stronger together. Meritocracy. Uh, and then send out some people to go colonize that place. Okay. Be there in an hour. Is that what it said? And then... Um, we fight. We're down to 953. We're losing people quick. Here we go. They're just peasants. Of course, we're just bandits. I can't do anything with this. I'm just sort of, you know, hands off here. There's been five fights. 500 deaths. I've lost 500. They've lost 19. Things are going great. <laughs> By the way, you can play this in, uh, I think it's on Android. I'm not sure if it's on Apple, uh, on Apple or not. And there's a single-player mode that's supposed to be coming out. Uh, I don't think I mentioned that. Um, it's in the works, single-player mode, which I think would be much more interesting than, than well, for me anyway, multiplayer mode. Um, this isn't going to end well. At all. That's our fifth, five attacks, right? Yeah, it ain't going to end well. But that's okay. I'm sure, uh, you know, for science and all that. It's just a bunch of peasants. How how tough can it be? And is this a... Um, did it... Oh, it's an elite rebellion over there. Was there a number there and I just completely ignored that? There was, wasn't there? I think there was. I just completely ignored how many peasants were there. Oh, well. Is it, they all say it, don't they? No, it doesn't say what it is, but there's something going on over here. There's one over here. 9,000... Yeah, 9,000 Peasant Rebellion. Oh, yeah, I should look at that. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, we're down to 800 people. It ain't looking good. Round two, I guess. 77 deaths. Um, oh, we took out 17 of them. Okay, what's the, uh, where's the re retreat button? Anyway, we'll call it a day here. So this is Minds of Nations. Interesting thing. I thought it was worth showing off here. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.